Bill here from Service Yankee Workshop, and today we're going to talk about how to assemble our Yarmouth table. And a little bit about that first is some notes about this beautiful table is it's actually got a rubbed black finish, and it's got some uh, red undertones on it too, which really adds to the beauty of this piece right there. Um, it's convenient, uh, sturdy, space saving. It's uh, just 28 inches wide and 10 inches deep, so. Um, very convenient. Uh, you can do a lot with this and put it in a lot of places, whether you're furnishing you know, an office, home, uh, condo, apartment. Okay, and uh, to start the uh, process of assembling this table, as I mentioned, uh, one of the best things to do is just take some time and organize yourself, and let's uh, do that right now and review the parts that are involved to put this beautiful table together. What I have right here is I have eight of uh, these smaller, they're lock washers, eight of the regular washers, there are four of the wood screws, I have eight bolts, I have one allen wrench which will be included in the table, and uh, not included is a standard uh, Phillips screwdriver you will need uh, to put the table together. Okay? And again, continuing the inventory process, you have the table itself right here, in the drawer, you have the bottom shelving unit right here, and four legs. And to start, we'll take the first leg. They're all actually identical. The most important part is when you're setting it in is you want the groove to be inside, just like this. I have the first bolt. I've already put in the washers, the larger washer and the lock washer, uh, in the bolt right here already, just to speed the process just a tad. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually screwing it in with my fingers, which I get most of it in uh, with my fingers. As I've mentioned before about these things. And of course, using my Allen wrench, I am just tightening it just a little bit. That's all I'm really using the Allen wrench for is just to tighten it, just to make it stop like that. And the next leg, and you might want to just make a mental note to yourself too, how you know the top is just like a white kind of nub. We'll show that it's the top of the leg right there. Taking a second right in here, we line this up right there so the groove um, is towards the inside of the table. And we'll take the next bolt washers. Just as I did before, I'm screwing that in. And just a couple of easy turns, just like this. And repeat. If you get the uh, next leg, the third leg, it might be easier. There's a little tab right here in the drawer. You might want to push that out just so it's kind of flush right there. It might be a little bit easier for you to, uh, to screw the leg on. And again, of course, the top part right here with the uh, white piece right there on top and my bolt. I already have the washers attached. And repeat. And top. Attaching the shelf. Remember, we're upside down, so you want the black shiny coat facing the bottom right here. And you may note, of course, we find it easiest to just uh, do it when we have the three legs. And now the uh, last leg, same as before, you just put this in here just as such. side like this. in 
last step is just putting in the wood the screws to attach the shelf to the rest of the table. It uh, will drop right in. You want to line it right in like this so it's in most of the way. And you just tighten it with your Phillips screwdriver and repeat. And the last leg right here, getting that just right into place like that. finished Yarmouth table available to you from Sturbridge Yankee Workshop at www.sturbridgeyankee.com.